Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. Okay, so I still be using limited colors my palette and I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw amber. So I'm using limited colors my palette because I want you to learn the mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, you can still use burnt, burnt amber. It's almost like um, the burnt the raw amber and if you're using burnt china, you can mix it with red and red and blue to make it dark or look like black or if you want to have darker colors okay and these are my brushes i have already number 12 nylon flat brush long handled and i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this um number 11 a uh, bristle flat brush long handled number eight nylon flat brush long handled number seven nylon flat brush um short handle and uh, number three um nylon flat brush short handle and i also have here the number zero liner brush for the details you know use say number one double zero triple zeros i'm not sure if we're gonna use this today but um it just just in case i'm going to use that okay okay so I think I'm gonna start now. Uh, sorry guys, this is my canvas. It's 10 by 8 inches. It has three coats of prime white acrylic. You know, so you just saw I made it myself. And water to thin the paint. And water spray. I uh, can use it here so that you can have um, a smoother canvas or wet canvas for the better blendings. Okay, so that's it. So I think we're gonna start now and yes today guys I'm going to paint um, a window an old window in, a, in an old house and it will be very old with an old bricks and old woods or yeah something like that or whatever that comes to my mind okay so let's start now okay so I'm gonna use this number eight flat brush and the raw umber. I'm gonna sketch first. Here. So I'm gonna put the window here. And we're going to divide it by two. There. And I'm gonna put um, bricks here. I'm just, uh, yes, some detail, something like that. I'm not sure what kind of. Well, I'm not sure what you can call that. And uh, one door will be open. Yes. It's a little detail, something like that. And the other one will be close. Yeah, the same detail. I told you I have a reference, guys, but yeah, just follow a little on the reference. And there will be some flowers on the bottom here. Yeah, that will be my plan. And 
think let's start now okay so i'm gonna make this dark i'm gonna add blue on it to make it darker yes you can add more blue Yes, um, adding blue on the raw umber, it will become darker so that you can have a darker color. There. And it's gonna mix for a grayish color, grayish stone. So I'm gonna use this. Raw umber with some a little amount of yellow and white. There. I totally need to. I'm going to use uh, a bigger, a, big, a bigger brush for this for that job. Here, the number twelve flat brush. Yeah, so that it will become uh, faster. So more gray. Some parts will be greenish. So I'm adding yellow on it, on the on this. Uh, I'm adding yellow on the rumber. There. So all you have to just fill this the entire area with this color. It's uh yellow is gray something like that so just fill this part with all that color with that color okay there some parts will be dark, a little darker you can add water into your paint guys just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet there I'm gonna make this part darker And I'm gonna add a little blue on it. There. There should be lots of colors and tones on this, on the wall. I'm not sure, guys, if I did something like this before. In this tutorial, I'm not sure. I have more than 200 videos on YouTube. And. And I know that I still have lots of subject to explore. Something like this one. Okay. So now I'm just painting um a little um uh, some what do you call this um simple subject like this. It's totally better if you if you start uh, practicing simple simple subjects before doing the complicated ones. It's the best way to learn guys so that's why i'm using i'm painting simple subjects now okay yeah that's it now we're going to use a smaller brush which is the number 11 lot brush and i'm going to add more details then i'm going to make this part dark yes i'm gonna add yellow there to make it yellowish again this is just the background tones colors um, we'll change some more later here if you're asking me if I have a if you, I, uh, if I have a reference, yes, I have a reference on this one from Pixabay. I downloaded it from. Um, if you want to 
if you want to find some reference you can look in Fixabay this is a free <laughs> advertisement guys so yeah I recommend Fixabay and I'm gonna use some red and or umber okay let's mix this and some yellow to make some orange okay so I'm gonna make this store orange and I'm gonna add a beautiful lighting on this painting later guys So yellow and red and just fill this part with that color. There you go. Okay, and I'm gonna make this one darker. Oh sorry. Oh MG. Okay, sorry guys. It's the problem with a very small place. Okay. So I'm gonna use this rumber and blue again. Part with dark color, almost like light black. This. Okay, if you are, if you have the orange, you now you can mix it with red and blue to make it darker, like this one. Okay. I now let's start adding some little details and I'm going to use I'm going to make the dark tones first or the dark dark tones first yeah so I'm gonna use this umber and blue and let's start adding here there and also this one And let's uh, add some bricks. Okay. Some cracks on the walls. Okay. some cracks and also here I'm gonna put more cracks the more cracks you're gonna put the more artistic it will, be, it will become so just put more but don't overdo it always remember guys so I'm gonna put some cracks here and also here I'm gonna put more cracks there but don't overdo it, always remember that just add more shades here there 
Then I'm gonna use some white and some blue stone here. With some blue and raw umber. And it's gonna put some white there. So you can use the topping technique guys. Like this. And do not again do not overdo it. Leave some white spaces or parts. There. And here. These are some dry cements or I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. Yes. Gotta put more white there. It should be a little bluish in color. I can just leave some more um, gray uh, parts of your of the painting. Do not overdo it. Okay. Now let's gonna use a smaller brush. It is the number seven flat brush here. And I'm gonna use some raw umber, just plain raw umber. And it's gonna put some more details on this one. I think I'm gonna mix it with a little blue color. Okay. Set some dark lines on this on this white um, on this white um, cements or I'm not sure what to call it, guys. There, okay. It will create some depths on this part on this particular um, detail. Okay. You can now clearly distinguish the, the white detail, the white spots, or I'm not, I'm not really sure what you can call it. Here. Yeah. And again, do not overdo it, just leave some more um, gray spaces. There. You can also use the darker pro umber, okay. Then you can create more cracks by using this the raw umber color and using this small brush there actually you can use the number one brush if you're having a hard time using this brush to create more cracks to create more details Okay. 
¿eh? Let's add more crack. There. Okay. And now let's continue adding more detail. So I'm gonna mix for more brown, so romber and red. And a little yellow. And white. So it's a brownish tone. I'm gonna put some brownish um, brick here. So here. Actually, I'm going to cover this part with the plants, so I'm going to leave it that way. And here, of course. There. Let's also put something brown here. Okay, and let's add some details on that brown. I'm using the uh, raw umber. So here. There. Okay. Now I'll be adding more detail. So I'm gonna use this yellow and umber to add more yellowish detail. And also here. I'm gonna make this part dark. Okay. And also here. I think I'm gonna add white on this. Make it lighter. Okay. Let's add more white stains there. I know, uh, yellow stain, I mean. And here, of course. Okay, and the grease, so let's add more grease here. Oh, it's gray color, I mean. It should, have, it should have more white in there, okay? And some more blue. And let's add. There. There. Okay. You can add this one by adding more dots or yeah just follow what I'm doing guys there just do it a lit little by little and also here okay Here. 
Okay. Yeah. About that. Okay, so I think I'm going to add the dark green here first so they can have um, idea where I can put the plants. Okay, so I'm going to mix for green color, so blue, yellow, and amber. Here, I'm using the bristle brush with number 11. So we're going to put the flowers here. That's it. Now let's continue adding more details. So I'll be using again the the number seven flat brush and the some room umber. And let's put some more details here. Some more cracks. So again, let's just blend a little here with this color. There. Okay. And now I think I'm going to start adding um, some details here. Okay, I'm going to use this amber and let's add some dark color. Amber and some blue to make it dark or look like black. And some detail here. There. Okay. And also here. And some dark line here. Between the window and the and the bricks. Okay. here a little detail on the top to create the dips of the, of these uh, brick bricks and here okay it's not that easy guys but I know you can do it also and if you are painting me just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy Okay. I'm using the rumber and let's add a little detail in this part here. Detail on the window. Another one here. And some line on the window. Okay. And another one here. Okay. And let's add some lines. It is made of wood, that's why we need to add some details on the wood or the wooden window it is very old that's why we need to add some dark stains here Okay. 
And now I think I'm going to start adding the light. So I'm going to strike a very bright light here on the center and on the plants. Yes, that will be my plan. So I will be mixing a lighter um, yellow. Yes, no lighter orange. So yellow and red and white, of course. More red and yellow. There. It's now a little pinkies and orange. Uh, let's just add some light here. There. And also here. I'm gonna make it more reddish and orange. Yeah, and another one here. This part will be shadows here, so I'll just strike a light, kind of, yeah, some shade of light on the center. Okay, and also here. Okay, about that. And this part of the top. Yeah. And now let's continue adding some highlights. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some white on this color should be a little yellowish and let's add some yellowish detail here Yeah. And some raw umber and we add some white. That's very light. Well add more umber. And it's at this made this part a little lighter. Okay. I think I'm gonna make this part dark, but I'm gonna do it later. So let's continue adding more light here, and I'm gonna use some white, almost pure white, but I'm gonna add a little grayish on it. So let's add some more detail, something like this one.
this part should be light okay Okay. I'm just going to add a little on this one. also here and of course here okay and I'm gonna use again this color with some yellow and some white there it will be grayish So here, so all you have to do guys is just uh, make this painting alive or look like realistic or making this painting realistic. Okay. So you can now see the, which, uh, which part has the light. Okay. And I think I'm gonna mix for more brown. So here, a light brown. And I'm just gonna put it here. dark this for this part there you go yes I'm going to Use again this color with some more white and red and let's make this part lighter. And add more white. Here, of course, a little white here. And using the orange with some white, I'm gonna make this light there, okay? And here also. Yeah. 
yeah so far I like the result so again I'm gonna use some more red and white and some details here or some highlights on this part on this um, brown bricks I'm going to use some raw umber with, with yellow because I'm going to make this part darker here. there okay and the raw umber with, with the blue color and here so what else so I think I'm gonna use more raw umber to add more dips on these bricks Yeah, I like the lights, guys. So, let's continue adding more. Okay, I'm gonna add more red to create a darker reddish brown. And let's make this part dark. There. Just add more shades. Okay. And I think a yellow to make it brownish. Okay, and of course on this part here. And we're gonna put some grey stone on there on there. And I'm gonna use some red and white to add some gray stone on this there. Okay. To make it look to make it look like old. And of course here. So again, do not overdo it. Okay, that will make this um, old. And let's add a lighter color to make it lighter. That's way lighter. <laughs> And of course here. There. Of 
Okay. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm doing okay. <laughs> so here I'm gonna use some more brown. Let's add more details in this part. And some more dark tones. Or umber. And here. Okay, I love it. Okay, what else? So I'll be using a smaller brush, it is the, the number zero liner brush. I'm going to add details on this part here of the window. So I'll be using the raw umber. I'm gonna mix it with this light brown color to make it lighter and I'm going to add some readings on this window here there so that there will be no thief can enter in this building there and on the center and it's at the highlights I'm going to use the white and add it on the light brown to make it more lighter to make it lighter and let's add some highlights on this one. There. And of course here. That's it. Okay, I think that looks realistic now. And I'm gonna make this here darker. Okay, so I'll be using a smaller brush, number 8 flat brush, and I'm gonna use some grayish tone here. And let's make this part darker. Okay. And some blue color. And here, of course here. It's gonna make the edges dark. Okay, and also here. Okay. And now let's start adding some flowers. But I'm gonna put first some plants. I'll be using the number 11 bristle flat brush and some blue and yellow and white. Just put more, just, I just have to put some um, leaves first. By doing that, we need to use uh, the topping technique. 
but or something like this just um create um circular strokes but make it short to make to create the leaves like effect more blue and red there So you have another plants. Now next we're gonna put the flowers. And I will be using a smaller brush, which is the number three flat brush. Here. And we're gonna do some pink flowers. So I'm gonna use the red and the white first. But I'm gonna do some dark pinks or red first. here just create some random dots there Send more flowers and again do not overdo it leave some more dark spaces between the group of flowers and just follow my strokes And I'm going to add some white there. Okay, to make a lighter pink. And let's add some lighter pink here to add the highlights. I'm not really sure what kind of flowers these guys are. Uh, I think they are daisies. Okay, and I'm gonna use again some more pink but darker. Okay, yeah. About that. Okay, so I think I'm almost done, guys. I'm not really sure if I'm do if this is really nice. <laughs> okay, hopefully you like it. Okay, so what else? So I'm going to retouch more. I'm gonna make this part darker here. Some sh to add some shades, so blue and amber. There. And here. Ok, 
okay and of course here let's make this more uh, darker just do it softly add more stains of dark stains So, because I want this part to be, to this part, um, to be light here, only this part. Okay. And I'm going to add more pink, add more details on the pink. So I'm going to use more white. So let's add more pink there. Okay. Okay, so I think I am done. And so far, I like the result. For me, it's okay. Yeah, it's dark and I like the shades, the shadow. So I hope you're learning from me on this tutorial. So if you're painting me, just follow what I'm doing. Just, just, um, just have fun while you're painting and just paint more okay so my advice is keep, keep on practicing keep on painting the more data more know how to use brush the more not know how to mix the colors so i'm using limited colors in my palette because i want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want okay guys once again thank you so much please hit like and comment subscribe for more videos in the future thank you guys have a nice day and god bless you all